Hello again. In this video, we're going to talk about texturing, also known as skinning, but we're going to call it texturing for our purposes. Uh, we're going to apply a texture to this environment. We're going to talk about what a texture is. So um, right now, we have this kind of gray, flat, alien environment that doesn't really look very exciting, right? Um, would definitely would not be suitable for most games. Uh, we don't want to be running around in this kind of gray, blank area, right? So we need to give it a little bit more color, make it look a little bit more interesting. And what we're going to do to do that is we're going to apply textures to it. So a texture is an image that we're going to use to make this gray surface look like what we want it to look like. It could be grass, it could be dirt, it could be ice, it could be anything, right? In our case, we're going to use some simple stuff like grass and dirt. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use some of the tools that we've um, kind of looked at already, but this is going to be a little bit different aspect of what we've looked at so far. So we looked at the first three um, brushes that were available in this terrain component here. So I've got my terrain selected, and I'm looking at my first three brushes. And what we're going to look at now is the fourth brush, which is the paint texture brush. And what that's going to do is let us take an image and apply it to this terrain. We're going to be able to paint textures in. So if we want grass, we can paint grass. If we want um, dirt, we can paint dirt. So to do that, we actually have to pick pet textures that we want to apply. And right now, you'll see it says no terrain textures defined right down here. And so what we need to do is choose textures that we want to use. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Edit Textures menu right here and choose Add Texture. And we'll get this Add Terrain Texture window where we can choose our splat. That's what we want to actually add. Uh, so we'll click the little button here to choose what we want to add here. And we've got a few options, dirt, grass, grass and rock. We're going to go with grass. That seems pretty good. Now we'll go with grass and rock. I like grass and rock. Let's go ahead and apply that. If we choose it, and then we click Add. Now grass and rock has been applied to this whole text, um, this whole uh, terrain. So our whole map is going to be glass, grass and rock, which might be what you want, but probably you want a little bit more specific um, terrain application, right? You probably don't want to just apply the same um, image across your whole terrain, you probably want to get a little more specific. So let's do that. Let's add another texture. So we'll go to Edit Textures again. We'll choose Add Texture. And we'll choose another splat. We're going to go with Dirt this time. And if I click Add, now Dirt is also available in my Textures box here. But you'll notice you didn't see any dirt get applied in the game world. And that's because we're actually going to paint it in. So the first texture you pick gets applied across everything. And then every texture you pick after that, you can paint in however you want. So we're going to go ahead and choose the dirt texture by clicking on it over here. And then I can paint it in. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint some dirt right over there. You can zoom in and see what it looks like. Uh, I have brush settings just like I did before. So maybe I'll make my brush a little bit smaller. I can paint kind of a dirt corridor in here around the base of this hill. Um, I could paint some dirt kind of in these, make these into little, like sand dunes or something. Maybe I'll make a bigger brush for that. These could be sand dunes. And I can kind of color this with that texture of dirt. So we can apply as many textures as we want in this way. And you can even add your own textures to your game world that you create if you want to. Uh, we get a little crazy and uh, pick some grass here. This grass texture is not really designed for painting across the ground, but hey, why not have a little fun, right? You can go ahead and paint that on. Oops, I didn't choose the right one. Go ahead and paint that on. That looks pretty grassy. Nice. That actually worked pretty well. So there you go. That is how you apply textures, also known as skins, to your terrain. Cool.